Hey folks, we'll be doing a solar and wind home power bill. And you see there's my solar, my wind, and all the other good stuff behind me. Yeah, we had a pretty good month this month. The swimming pool, it's now September 25th, 2016. We got our, I think our, uh, it was a September electric bill. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what we got and how everything's been running and all this good, good stuff. But it's been a dry, September, dry August and September. It's a, the monthly cycle is like August 15th to like September 15th. So, so the, the new set of panels behind us only got a certain amount of time in them, you know, as far as making power. So we'll go over that and we'll see what's going on. I'll show you the electric bill. All right, y'all. But these panels here, I was originally going to take down they are now tied in series. All three of these. This one is a 120 watt panel. Excuse me. This one's a 120 watt panel. That's a 120 watt panel. So 240. And that's a 100 watt panel. All 12 volt. All within the same voltages on you know on the label of the panel and all that stuff. So they're all tied in series. So that's going to give me 340 watts. And I got them tied in my little small 12 volt system on my other side of my shop. Um, as you noticed before, I had the solar panels on the back side of my little shop. They're now gone. And so all my solar is facing one direction. Right now. And that's right here. Those are all in series. So it's 340 watts. That's a good, good little... And they're facing south, southwest, those panels are. And there's my new array. And all that green bushy stuff right there, that's my asparagus. You know, I cut that down in a couple months. Let it redo its thing for next year. That's why it's growing up like it is. All right, let's go take a look at the power bill. But yeah, I've been uh, kind of taking a break. Uh, doing a lot of solar projects, doing another one uh, for a buddy of mine. Uh, making a little panel up for like a uh, sailboat and all that stuff. Uh, flexible solar panel, but anyway, these are my UL solar panels that I've had for years. They're on the back. They get a lot of sun this time of year. September, spring, winter, because uh, south, southeast, they just got a lot of power. All right. So, little girl's playhouse doing really good. But yeah, it's. it's no sun out hardly. It's just that time of year getting cloudy, dog day, cloudy days. But there's the new array. That's a thousand sixty watts. It's just coming in, y'all. Just making the power. So today has been like this all day today, cloudy and just not good for anything. I mean, as far as being solar, but it's nice out here. I think it's about 72 out here right now. And it's 5, I mean, it's just o'clock in the afternoon. We'll go show you what kind of power we're making. Turn some lights on. Alright, we're in the power shop. Got the air conditioner on to keep everything cool. Put my CNI glasses on. There's our battery bank. Uh, that's a, our 380 amp hour AGM battery bank. Right here with our blue C's um, bus bar on there. And just a whole lot of stuff going on there. Just blue C's battery switch. A 250 amp fuse, inline fuse. Everything's protected. And here's my battery bank. These are like 191 amp hours each. There's four of them at 24 volts. And these are big batteries, y'all. So that gives me 380 amp hours. They're out back. Um, energy cell. Grid hybrids.
They're really good batteries. Using two alt gauge for everything. Oh. But anyway, here's the kind of power we're making. We're making out of 104 watts right now. I'm at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. This is a bigger array. Uh, the new array, 1,060 watts. And we're bringing in 50 watts. I think made 1.8 today on the bigger array, the, the Montana Solar. This is the bigger array, the 1,060 watts. Made 2.3 kilowatt hours today with that. We're bringing in 60 watts with that. And these are all Outback FlexMax 80 MPPT charge controllers. And this is a flatter array on the roof. And we brought in 1.5 kilowatts a day. And then right now I'm bringing in 50 watts. Alright, our total power uses today. All right now we're at 70 point, well 71 degrees, I was pretty close. Alright, today so far, we brought in 5.6 kilowatt hours. Then we'll go to the FlexNet DC actual solar the 7.140 or the 7.1 from, from daylight from every little bit of ounce of solar to come in the day. That's what you got. But she's been like that all day. Now it's just cloudy as heck. All right. Okay. Well, let's get to my power bill. Um, this is from 8-11, August 11th, to um, September 12th, $8.52, as y'all can see there, and last September was 164 kilowatt hours, and this September, one kilowatt hour. Um, not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, y'all. So we'll do one every month just to show you what solar, what it can do, what it can't do, and all the ups and downs. But right here, here's our breakdown of our pit bill. We've got the seven dollars and three cent for having power here, distribution service. Uh, generation four cent, transmission uh, one cent, fuel two cent. So the actual bill is like seven cent. Then our utility tax was a dollar forty two. So you know how that goes. Got it. One and a half taxes. So eight dollars fifty two cent. So yeah, I mean that's a breakdown of it, and it's true and blue. And that's what it is. So one kilowatt hour it was zero last month but can't have can't win all the time so anyway got any questions or comments feel free to let me know what's going on and uh if i can ask you any, any questions or comments just let me know hey y'all thank y'all for watching hey y'all have a good one god bless um um super five please subscribe now y'all have a go now. Y'all take it easy now. All right now. Oh, bye bye.